Now let us see what are the different construction parts of Plex. So over here, we can divide the whole construction system into four different parts. These are basic parts or pillars that we can use to build structures. These parts are called as connectors that are used to connect different pieces together. These are special parts and they compose of gears of different sizes, a rack, a power screw, a power nut and different shafts. And these are your power and driver mechanisms, which consist of gearbox, a 6 volt battery box, a 3 volt battery box, as well as a transmitter and receiver. Now let us see the different types of connectors as well as their uses. The first connector that we will see is CT2. So this is a CT2 connector and it is used to connect two parts. Suppose we have two pillars, these are called as P11s and we want to connect them together. To connect them, we can use a CT2 connector. This is how we can connect two pillars using a CD2 connector. Even though it is a tight connector, both the pieces are free to move. So how would you lock it in place? To lock it in place, what you need to do is, instead of using a single CD2 connector, you need to use two CD2 connectors. Now you can see that there is no movement between these two pieces. How do you separate these two pieces? One is, you can separate them directly like this, or you can use a removal tool. Place a removal tool between these two parts, Create a wedge like this and then you can separate the pieces like this. Now how do you remove this connector? You can see a smaller U-shaped part in this removal tool. This is how you can remove the connector easily using the removal tool. The next connector is called as a CT3. This connector is used to connect three pieces together. Let us see how. Again, we have two P11s. Suppose we take one more pillar. This piece is called as P7. As you can see, three pieces can be connected like this using a CT3. But again, they are free to move. To restrict this movement, what we need to do is, we need to use two CT3s. If you see now, the whole structure is locked in place. If you look at this piece carefully, you can see a collar over here. So on this side, one piece can be connected and two pieces can be connected on this side. So if we take a piece, and we insert it like this, you will see that the piece gets locked near the collar. So on this side, you can connect two pieces and on the other end, you can connect a single piece. So whenever you're building model, keep in mind where you want to attach the collar. The next connector is called as CL2. It is a kind of loose connector. So whenever we want relative motion between two pieces, we can use this kind of connector. Now over here, we have a P11. We place a CL2 like this. And when we connect another piece, both these pieces will have a relative motion. CL2 is generally useful when we want to connect a G20 idler. Suppose you have a base plate like this, you attach a CL2, you can see that this connector is free to rotate. And when you take a gear that is called idler and you place it, you can see that it is free to rotate. Whenever you want to make loose connections between two pieces, you use a CL2 connector. The next connector is called as CT 1x2. This connector is used to attach two pieces side by side. Suppose you have a base plate, we call it P7 by 11 and this is another surface, we call it P11 and you want to attach these two pieces side by side, we can use this kind of connector. As a result, you get a complete rigid body by connecting two pieces using CT 1x2 connector. The next connector is called as a CH2. It is a hinge connector and this connector is used to attach two pieces at right angle. Let us see how it is done. You have two surfaces called P11 and suppose you want to attach them like this at 90 degrees. This is where CH2 will help us. Always remember that with CH2s, you will either need a CL2, a CT3 or CT2 to connect to other piece. So over here, we are using a CT2 piece with a CH2 and this is how you can connect these two pieces together. Over here, we have two other parts called as TW1 and TW2. These are nothing but spacers to add space of one unit length and two unit length. This is one special piece, we called it PC3. So it has a very unique advantage. Using this piece, we can attach any piece to any surface at 90 degrees. So basically, you take a pillar like this. This pillar 
goes over here in this connector and these two holes can be connected to any other surface using a connector like CD2 or CD3. So as you can see, if you want to build a pillar which is perpendicular to any surface, you can use a PC3 piece.